So hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Elizabeth Thomas Capello, and I teach with the Computer Science Pathway at Newburgh Creek Academy main campus. I also teach with the Marist Early College High School Newburgh Partnership Program, and I've been teaching with that pro pro program for five years. And welcome. We're live from our classroom. This is one, one of our Marist classes. This is a software development class take, taking place, and we wanted to have this during this time in order for you to have an opportunity to hear from some of our students. So thank, thank you for take, taking the time to come in. We've been excited to share our work, work with you. So uh, I'll turn it over. Let me flip through and we'll introduce the rest of our speakers today. So first up, we have uh, Dr. Brackett. Do you, would you like to say anything, Dr. Dr. Brackett, introduce oh, yourself. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'm happy to. First of all, it's great to see all the students. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, Good morning. The, you're all the reason that we're here. So we're very pleased to be uh, sharing this with you and very proud of everything you're accomplishing. So we couldn't be happier. Okay. Uh, next up, Ms. Valentino. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Ms. Valentino. I am the principal here at NFA Main Campus, and I also, for the past five years, have been overseeing the Marist program. So good morning and welcome. Dean, do you this? Go ahead. Am I? No, go ahead. Oh, Okay. Hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is Cynthia Horad, and I'm an assistant dean to the School of Computer Science and Mathematics here at Marist College. I work closely with the Marist and Newburgh and Large City School District faculty, staff, and administrators involved in the Smart Scholars Early College High School Program, or ECHS for short, and welcome you to this session to learn more about our collaborative program. I'm Lynn Pample. I'm the director of grants in federally funded programs, and this is one of my favorite programs <laughs> that I get to work on. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's just go up to our next slide. And uh, we only have five slides, so we don't have a whole lot to uh, talk with you. Just a quick overview. Uh, we'll be talking about the development of the Early College High School Marist uh, Partnership Program, uh, the Newburgh Partnership Administrative Structure, our course sequence and how we work with the Marist fa faculty, uh, any challenges that we've seen over our five years and our future work that we're very excite excited about. So we'll also hear fr from students at the end as well. So thanks. And here we are. Uh, okay. Good to go. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. And, and good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jeff Brackett. I'm Executive Vice President at Marist College, so the number two officer, kind of like the COO. Uh, and I'm pleased to join the panel today and speak briefly about this terrific program. Uh, as background, Marist and Newburgh have had a historic partnership of supporting high school graduation and post-secondary enrollment that goes back over 50 years through programs like Upward Bound and, and, and several others. Uh, in recent work, this in recent years rather, this work uh, has expanded through the support of several community programs uh, and grants. Uh, organizations like the Newburgh Armory, for example, which was founded and overseen by the Kaplan Family Foundation, uh, for the purpose of enriching uh, the academic experience for Newburgh students. Uh, the origins of the ECHS grant began back in 2017 with a conversation of the superintendent of the Newburgh and Large City School District and I had about the opportunity to harness Marist computer science expertise with Newburgh's innovative academy model to fill a, re a regional and actually a national gap in skilled technology positions. Uh, and this was in response to a New York State grant opportunity. Uh, the attraction of the uh, early college high school program model was that high achieving students like those you see in the screen in Elizabeth uh, uh, Thomas Capello's classroom, uh, they would have the, op the opportunity to complete college level coursework while attending high school during the academic year uh, and experience also a college campus 
while uh, completing that uh, coursework during the summer. So a very important hybrid mix of high school and college curriculum, uh, as well as an experience, uh, a physical experience on both campuses. Uh, the early development of the grant was truly a joint effort that required a lot of creative thinking, cooperation and coordination uh, between Marist and Newburgh. And all parties recognized that Marist College faculty had to drive the curriculum and the NFA teachers and administration were comfortable with that collaboration uh, because as I'm sure you've seen in the, in the basic materials, this is a, uh, an exceptional program that delivers a, a very large number of college credits uh, to high school students. The level of work among faculty and teachers on that curriculum is really what allowed this uh, college level work to be accomplished. Uh, it challenges the students with advanced work, uh, but also is an innovative way to drive down the cost of college for those students. And we're proud to note that we have four students who are alumni of this program who are currently uh, pursuing their college careers at Marist and roughly 20% of their college tuition in those 26 credits uh, that they earned while in high school have, uh, has already been covered. Uh, so it's a way to challenge intellects at the high school level to bring them along to college and also make college more affordable. So we're extremely proud of our collective work over the last four years and looking forward to continued success uh, through the extension of this program through an additional recent grant award uh, which totals somewhere in the neighborhood of $2 million. So it's been, it's been rewarded uh, with uh, support because of its success. Uh, the program works extremely well and it's gratifying to see uh, that uh, it's being recognized in such a way. Uh, innovative collaboration that increases the challenges of the high school curriculum. That means it makes it harder for you students in that classroom but does so uh, by engaging faculty uh, and staff across both institutions, really for the benefit of the students and their families and, and the region that needs these kinds of well-prepared uh, individuals uh, to, uh, uh, to be part of our fabric uh, and does so while reducing the cost of college. So, uh, you know, I just want to end by saying the immense amount of detailed work that has uh, gone on uh, among all of the people who really did the work in this, the faculty and staff uh, who put this together is uh, to be commended. And I couldn't be prouder uh, as, uh, as somebody who's uh, seen this uh, uh, being uh, developed uh, through the years and improved. Uh, it's very, it makes me very proud to be a member of Marist College uh, uh, associated with Newburgh Free Academy. I have three sons, all of whom are NFA graduates, by the way. Uh, and uh, it's great to be part of such a wonderful community. So thank you very much. Thank you. And Miss uh, Dr. Pam Powell is going, going to speak as well. I just want a quick ha housekeeping notes I forgot to share. If you have anything to say, please put it in, in the chat. Uh, any specific questions, we will absolutely get to those. Thank you so much, da Dr. Brackett. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the financial piece, not as exciting. That's why we're kind of front loading it so you can um, get to the fun stuff right away. I submit the annual budget that's developed in partnership with Cynthia and the steering committee. And I also submit all of the, the, the reports. We have two uh, data heavy reports, one mid year and one at the end of the year. And then we have a culminating report that goes into great detail about the program and the students. This is a longitudinal study where we're going to be following the cohorts of students through college to see how many credits they earn postgraduate and what they um, eventually, what degrees they eventually graduate with. The funding for this began in 2017 and it was at $775,000. We started with a smaller amount, and as our cohorts of students grew, the amount increased. We're now operating at about $250,000 a year. That funds 120, 120 students annually at 30 a cohort. As the cohort numbers change, we have some freedom with how we apply those dollars. And the steering committee really oversees the budget and we talk about student needs. Student needs have driven how we have put this program together. 
each year. This year, funding will cover hourly salaries for administrators and teachers that oversee the program in Newburgh and Large City School District and provide support to students after school. It pays for the college credits and we buy materials like ebooks, laptops, and we pay for transportation. Very expensive. We can't cover all of transportation with this grant. Um, but getting the students to the Marist campus in the summertime for the summertime program is very, very important. We report annually on gender, race, ethnicity, and credits earned. And we, uh, we look very careful at who's being successful. Who's getting the highest GPAs? Do we need to tailor our support? Do we need to modify our budget? Um, it's a competitive grant. It was first available in 2011, and I did a little homework and saw that there are only 24 programs funded across the state. It's a dynamic process. We change policy and budget according to student need, and I'm really excited to have the next iteration of the grant. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're just going to talk about a uh, little bit of the administrative components that go in, into play, and that is going to be um, Dean Warad and uh, Miss Valentino. So Sue, would you like to go first and say a few words? Uh, absolutely. Thank you. And again, um, as Dr. Pample said, I am very excited to be part of this program. I've been in this program for five years and I, it's really, it's an amazing program and amazing opportunity for our students. So um, with the partnership between Marist and Newburgh, we have an administrative structure. We do meet monthly and we discuss the needs and wants of our students and of the program. And we tailor, um, tailor that around the program. As far as student recruitment goes, each cohort that we bring on has 30 seats available. And we do try to look at a variety of, a, a, a variety of items when we're looking at who's gonna be part of the program. Students who apply to become part of this program, there is an application process. And because we it's such a popular program, we usually have to have a lottery system as to um, who gets accepted because we we only have 30 seats available and we have this year, I think we had upward of 70 applicants. So we do look at um, race, ethnicity. We look at if these are going to be students that are first time college bound in their families. We look at financially disadvantaged families um, and we try to really round out who is going to be part of the the cohort. Uh, these young students stay together from ninth grade to 12th grade as far as the courses that they take. So they are together every day for one course at the high school. And then in the summer, they go to Marist, and I'll let Cynthia speak a little more about that. But they actually have an opportunity to go to the college. It's a very fast paced course that they take. It's only 12 days long. And in 12 days, they actually accomplish a full college course. So to me, that's amazing because as many of us probably on this panel know, um, it probably took us a whole semester to complete a course and they're doing it in 12 days and they're doing it at very young ages. So I really do commend the students for, for all the effort that they do put in. Um, Cynthia, do you want to talk a little bit about Sure. Thank you, Susan. Um, I'm just going to add on to uh, some of the things that you just commented on. Um, so constant communications between Newburgh and Marist College are key to the success of the ECHS partnership and the program. Um, like uh, Susan mentioned, um, we have a steering committee that is comprised of 14 key members from Newburgh School District and Marist who meet on a monthly basis and communicate regularly on aspects of the program, including curriculum, program development, student recruitment, status, support systems, grant requirements, and reporting. Each representative brings expertise from their area that helps to develop, implement, and assess programming and report on the program outcomes. The steering committee consists of key administrators from Newburgh School District, including 
who we have here today, a uh, co-principal from Newburgh Free Academy, the high school where the students are located, along with the director of grants and an assistant superintendent and communication strategist. From Marist, we have the dean and assistant dean of the School of Computer Science and Mathematics, myself, who schedules meetings and manages communications with all steering committee members and works closely with all Marist faculty and staff on developing, implementing programming and reporting the outcomes. We also have an assistant vice president of operations who communicates closely with Dr. Jeff Brackett, the um, vice president of operations here at Marist College. We also have a senior grants accountant who handles budget items and billings to the school district, as well as faculty advisor and liaison who works closely with all the faculty uh, involved in the program, and a director of academic learning center who handles all the high school program guidelines and high school student registrations. We also have the V and Dean of Students and Director of Admissions who assists with college experiences, tours, and preparation sessions for applying to college and financial literacy. Keeping open channels of communication with all constituents allows us to keep informed of updates and continuously assess and make improvements to the program. Um, related to the recruitment um, Sue mentioned, also with retention um, or uh, with teacher recruitment um, to assure qualified teachers are instructing the Marist courses at the college level. All Newburgh as well as Marist faculty have to be approved by Marist College. The Marist faculty who teach the courses over the summer are full-time faculty who are experienced in their fields. Um, moving on to the student registration process, as I mentioned, the Director of Academic Learning Center at Marist College works with the high school program uh, to um, register all the students. She communicates all the guidelines with the school district. And also she provides Marist registration forms to the school district, um, Ms. Valentino in this case, to provide to the recruited students. Because these students are minors, they also need parents to sign the forms to register for the classes. Once all that documentation is received by Marist College, the students are registered in Marist College um, classes. Those classes are reserved specifically only for the Newburgh students. And then if a student um, decides to withdraw from a course, uh, Marist at drop form needs to also be submitted to the college for them to do that. And as far as, um, just to add on to that, as far as the registration goes, they register for each course that they take. So each each time they take a new course, there is a registration process. Um, and then once they have completed a course and completed the course successfully, they will receive those credits and they will be some of our, the courses that they take during the school day here at NFA are dual credited courses. So they'll receive high school credit um, and, and Maris credit and the high school credit would go toward their requirements for graduation. Once they have completed the program and we, we did have our first cohort graduate this past June, which was very exciting. And like it was stated before, we do have four students that are now currently attending Marist College. One of those students received um, the Greystone Technology Award and um, that was wonderful also. Uh, just another level of what Marist and Newburgh are partnering, partnering on. Um, Students can ask for and receive a transcript from Marist that gives all their Marist College credits that they've earned, and then they can either apply those to an elective type um, program when they go to a different college, they might be for their major, they might minor in something. So those 26 credits, if they successfully complete all the courses, are theirs to take and use um, as they need once they start their college experience. As far as scheduling at Newburgh Free Academy, the beauty to me of this program is it doesn't limit the students in this program to 
not taking and experiencing other things. So they take a Marist College course one period a day here at the building, and then their schedule's open to explore other electives, other AP courses, and other requirements that they will need for graduation. So it is nice because it gives the flexibility to not just be immersed in one particular program where they can't experience other things. And then I did talk a little bit about the summer program. Um, we did have the opportunity to go to Marist again this year and have our course at Marist in person. The past few years we had to do it virtually. But again, working with Marist, we made those arrangements and we made uh, all necessary adjustments that needed to be done during the pandemic to make sure our students still got the experience of Marist College. So just to add on to what Sue mentioned about the summer courses, uh, Marist College does manage um, the summer courses and the students have um, taken those courses in person at Marist College campus as well as remotely over the summers of 2020 and 2021. So based on our strong partnership and communication, we were able to pivot to still provide the students a very strong and enriching program over the summers. Uh, the courses are three weeks long, and after the first summer, we did find that some students um, needed some additional time, so we added on a two-week um, extension um, for those students to work with our student TAs and to be successful in the class, and we found that to be very successful, so we've included that adjustment um, in the continuing years. Um, we also have um, like I mentioned, full-time faculty and student, Marist student teaching assistants in the classroom and available for outside the classroom um, support. Also during those three weeks over the summer, we include enrichment activities and college experience activities. Some of those in activities have included robotics workshops, campus tours, mentoring from Marist students, guest speakers from industry, information about Title IX, career exploration panels, and also the favorite, a field trip to IBM and Poughkeepsie. Thank you so much. Uh, that sa sounds great. So I wanna make sure that we're clear on time and I do see a couple of questions. So uh, we will get to those questions. I think we'll get to those questions on this next slide. So let me just share this and I'll just go to this structure right here. I will also share the slides in just, just a second with this chat. So uh, regarding the course se sequence, and I'll go back to the prior slide, there are a couple of questions about credits. We, the students are actually begin the Marist program in their ninth grade, grade year. They, they begin in quarters three and four. Uh, they, they take a technology for the 21st century class that, that is a three credit class. Uh, then they move on to Marist for the summer. They take introductory, introduction to programming on campus. They come back for their 10th grade year, which is where, where we are right now. This is a software development class, software development one. That is worth four, four credits. They move on to summer class, which is software development two, uh, taught by the Marist uh, faculty on campus. We have 11th grade uh, math introduction to statistics. And in summer, they either take cybersecurity or game game design, and then in their 12th grade year, they take uh, Math 241, uh, four credits at the cal calculus class at, at, at NFA. So the total credits are 26 computing technology and mathematics credits. So uh, Amanda, did that answer your, your question? And we'll talk about the transferability of those credits. And Ian, did that answer your question a little bit? You're still there? Okay. Okay, terrific. Let me move back to this slide. And then in order to, uh, I want to make sure that you're able to hear from some, some of our students. So I can keep this and uh, Dean, Dean Warad and I can keep this a little bit uh, uh, quick in order to make sure that we have the opportunity to do that. Our session ends at 10, 15. 10, 15. So uh, we do use the Marist College Learning Management System, that, that is Sakai. When they come and use that on uh, the Marist College during the summer, they use the same system. So it really gives the students the 
experience of, of, of interacting with a college play, platform outside of our Google Classroom that we use during our school day. Uh, so I do use the Marist Sakai site. Uh, we use all of the Marist instructional materials. I use the books. All, all of our other teachers here in Newburgh use the Marist uh, books that are used and any of the curriculum re resources that are used during their actual uh, you know, class, we use that here. And they're really uh, supportive for us with ongoing work and help. Uh, we reach out to them uh, quite, 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 quite a bit. It's a great relationship between those, between the Newburgh, between the Marist faculty, faculty and us in Newburgh. So uh, Dean Warad, is there anything else that you would like to add to that? I, think I was just going to say that, you know, this is part of Marist's assessment process and to assure quality instruction um, of the college level courses in high school programs. So, you know, full time faculty are available um, to provide support to the NFA teachers and uh, they also observe a class every year um, to assure that, you know, level of um, rigor is being taught at the college level. Okay, terrific. All right, so let me move on and we'll change slides to uh, any issues that we've had with, uh, so uh, Ms. Va Valentino and Dean Warat, if there's any information you'd like to offer and share to that. So um, along the five years, this being our fifth year, um, we have seen some challenges and we have worked on trying to improve um, and, and correct those challenges, especially through our monthly meetings that we have with the steering committee. One of the challenges is the retention. Because we only have 30 seats, and through this process, the, the students that are selected for the program start when they enter their freshman year at Newburgh Free Academy. Those 30 students will continue through their senior year. As we move through the years, students do sometimes tend to leave the program for various reasons. Um, they might have moved out of district. They might have switched to a different campus here. They might have decided that the program is not what they needed it to be and want to move on. Uh, when they do apply and get accepted, they are still in eighth grade. They are just finishing their middle school years. So sometimes um, they do change interests. So we have had somewhat of a problem with retention. We have looked at this and we're trying to find ways that we can, if you can't maintain the 30 students that start with the program, maybe bringing students on that start at a different point in the program, making sure that if there are prerequisites to courses that they've had some of the prerequisite um, materials already. The summer has been great. Um, really not a challenge having our students dedicate and commit to those three weeks or those 12 classes that they have to go to. And then like uh, Dr. Warat said, if they need to have an additional uh, support system, we do offer that time virtually to those students. So the summer schedule has worked out well. We give dates well in advance so families can plan if there's vacations or students have to work. Um, we do take all that into consideration. That's why we get the dates out to them so quickly. Teacher challenges, uh, we really haven't had a lot of teacher challenges. We've been very fortunate. And as we added our cohorts and got to this point that we always have four co cohorts up and running, um, Ms. Thomas Capello teaches two of our Marist courses. We have two other teachers that teach the math courses here. Um, they have stayed with the program. They have had much success with their students. They enjoy working with Marist. And so we have not had any challenges in that aspect. And as far as materials go, they we have always provided materials and worked in conjunction with Maris on that. Uh, the COVID pandemic lessons that we've learned, we've learned to be very flexible. Maris and Newburgh have, again, we've adapted. We were supposed to be um, on campus for the summer. So the past two summers, we were not able to do that. We got very fortunate this year and got back on campus, and hopefully that is behind us. But again, we adapted, we adjusted, our students adjusted, and we um, we were very successful in getting them the courses that they needed. 
And the contractual parameters that we do face is that our class size has to start and remain at 30. Um, we've toyed with the idea of adding maybe another section on um, so we could offer this to more students, but um, that is that has been a challenge. We really haven't been able to do that. So when we start with 30, it's what do we end up with by the time they're seniors? That That is really one of our only challenges that I see. Thank you, Susan. I just wanted to add to your comments that um, we do, you know, at Maris have an online platform that has been utilizing these courses that we offer to all the faculty, you know, at Maris and at NFA to utilize each year. Um, that came in extremely handy, especially during the pandemic, um, but it's also being utilized ongoing. We also have, um, you know, developed, like I mentioned, and adjusted based on the student needs throughout the program and, you know, any challenges that might arise that because of our strong relationship and partnership and communication, um, we've been able to devise, you know, successful ways to meet those challenges. And just if I could, I do see a question um, from Ian regarding AP courses are separate from the connection with Maris. Um, we do offer AP calculus to our seniors and because that is an AP course technically at Newburgh Free Academy, um, students, if they choose to, could sit for that AP course. So there is that connection there. They don't have to sit for the course and if they're successful in completing it, they will earn the four credits um, from Marist and they can also have that AP exam under the belt if they want to. Thank you so much. So why don't we move on uh, and please feel free to put any more questions that, that you have. So thanks for hang, hanging in there with us. Uh, our last slide is about the successes that we've, we've had and we would like you, we know we're getting close to the end, end of our time. Uh, does it, anybody of our speakers wanna add uh, anything regarding uh, our successes that we've that we've had. We had our first graduating class take place, and then we can hear from some some of our students before we have to close. I just, I yeah, just, yeah. please go ahead. I just wanted to say, um, last year we had a site visit with representatives from the New York State Department of Education who came in, and um, I think the most compelling piece of the audit was the student focus group that they met with. And the students from all different cohorts spoke about their experiences in the program. Not only does it build uh, college ready capacity, but they're really forming important skills with bonding and working closely within a cohort of peers. And they talked very frankly about how they really considered it to be a family that these uh, were more than just people in their class, that they really socialized together and they worked together on other things. So uh, one of the most valuable things about this grant is building capacity in college readiness, learning how to make those relationships, learning how to navigate the college environment. In the summertime, they have some wonderful experiences with going to an adult cafeteria. Who would have guessed? that this would mean so much to the students, but they find it very rewarding and look forward to it, especially the ice cream bar. Yeah. Remember that. <laughs> and I hey, Elizabeth, I, I'd be happy to jump in just on a couple of points. Uh, one, uh, first of all, there are a lot of really great innovative programs that, that endeavor to uh, develop STEM skills. You know, IBM's P-TECH is, which also has a unit at NFA, a great model. Uh, what we wanted to try to do with this program was give students a pathway into that baccalaureate, the full college degree opportunity. Uh, P-TECH goes to an associate's degree, narrowly focused with great expertise and great success. But there's, we, we wanted a wider option for students in this program to be able to pursue not only computer science or information technology, but a variety of other degrees with that underpinning of, uh, uh, of STEM capability. Um, and the and that was very important. And the second thing I'll say, and this really is an echo of, uh, of uh, uh, Dr. Pample's comments and, all, and others uh, about uh, the community, 
you know, there's a lot of stressors on students uh, in high school and in college right now. Uh, and the pandemic did nobody any favors on that front. And so these kinds of programs that can really focus on student success holistically, academically, and uh, in the community are very important and, uh, and powerful. So we hope that's a model, you know, for other people to be thinking about as well. Thank you. And I would just quickly say um, about the first graduating class, um, they lived through the pandemic and we, we got many, many of those first 30 and up through the graduation and many of them ended up with the full 26 credits. So to the students, that's to commend them to just sticking it out and, and hanging in there during um, a very difficult and stressful time. Thank you so much. Well, we just have a couple of minutes left. Why don't we hear from a, a few of our, our students? And come on up, students. We have uh, we have uh, Michelle Zhang with us. We have uh, Anthony Ar 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 Arguetta. Arguetta and Jacob. Come on up, Jake, Jacob Secreto. Do you want to come on up and stand in the front over here? It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're doing great. So Michelle is a senior in, in, in our program, and maybe they could just in, in, introduce yourself. Maybe talk about what you enjoyed about the Marist uh, platform or the, the Marist program that you enjoyed uh, quite, quite a bit, and then maybe what your future goals are and how, how this will, will help you. Uh, hi, guys. My name is Michelle. I'm a senior this year, and um, what I really like about the Marist program is, it, is that it prepared me for the rigor of the course. So uh, as a potential uh, future STEM student, I'm most likely going to major in science so to have the experience of the rigor is really important to me so it definitely uh, prepares me to get ready for college. Um, my name is Anthony Arrieta. I'm in my junior year and definitely what I liked about the marriage class was the the workload what we did and although I may not be going into computer science as a career path I'm looking to go into either law or education I definitely think that the um, what I learned in the college courses here at NFA and at Marist College will help in that just general knowledge. That's great. Hello, I'm Jacob Secreto. Um, um, I really like just everything about this, these two years I've had. Well, not two years yet. Yeah, but, um, almost two years. Almost. Um, I love being able to talk with everyone. I know. <laughs> and um, I love the topic itself too, but I have questions in computer scientists too, and I feel like most of them, um, they've really just been to my liking. That's great. Well, what was your favorite part about the summer program this year? Did you have something that, that stood out to you? Uh, yeah, of course, but also um, making the projects. That was like the Python project. That's that great. great. A lot of the team building exercises that we do like here and, yeah. and that we did at IBM were fun. So you have a good amount of fun with uh, <laughs> learning actually how that's it works. So. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, what, do you, what, do you hope, what do you hope to do, Jacob? Is there anything you'd like to do? Is there a career path you're thinking about? Um, a career path, yes. Um, maybe in computer science, but I'm not sure exactly Okay, what that's good. That's good. Well, thank, thank you so much. Is there any, anybody in our room that wants to speak? Anybody want to come up and say anything? They're, they're being shy. Chris, do you want to come up? No. no. <laughs> they're being very shy. But anyway, I think that's, uh, th thank you so much, Ian. Uh, yes, I, I will share share the slides right now. And yeah, I will stop sharing so you can see, see the students. A absolutely. So uh, everybody, uh, please give a really big wave uh, to our students. Whoops. Please give a very big wave to our students, everybody, and everybody, uh, students in the yeah, students in the back in there. Please give a wave, and uh, I I will share those those slides right now. Is is there any other questions that could possibly uh, be that I that I could possibly answer right now? And I will put the slides in the chat for you. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank thank you, Bridget. I will uh, share these right now. And I really appreciate everybody taking the time to come to this. This conference is so exciting. And uh, I really am expecting some exciting things for New York State after this, this work. Slide, slides are right here. Uh, 
my name is uh, and a little photo is there. I'd be happy to answer anything further and then pass this along to the Maris, uh, you know, speakers that, that that we have here. If I think that they can answer anything the best. So, anything else anybody feel like adding? Way to go, students! Woo! Yes, thank thank you so much. Thank you so much, and.